Kate, thank you so much for joining us. Um, of course, you've got um, you know incredible champions that is taking up this cause. Why is it important to get young people involved, um, and and why do we get um, you know how do we get rather from talking to action? It's important to get young people involved because the world has changed. Every big problem we face is a systemic risk and goes right around the world. Whether it's mitigating the impact of climate change, whatever the cause of that thing was, whether it's the financial crisis, the fact is the problems are global, but the young people who've inherited those problems, and some of them are problems that my generation have made, intentionally or otherwise, those young people have got a view on that thing, but they live a different life because they are connected. So if the problems are global, these young people are connected globally, which means there are things they can protest about and there are things that they can address. But if you look at people who really have changed the world and how young they start changing the world and effecting positive change, you realize that Anybody looking to say, what can I do to help positive change would look at a youngster. If you look at Sir Bob Geldof, he did Live Aid when he was 26. Jamie Oliver took young unemployed people into his kitchen at 15 when he was 24. So then you realize the scale of the human capital that is under 30 or even under 25. And you realize we've really got a shot at living differently and incumbent leadership helping young people to change things. And it was a, a raw idea, but when you go to Kofi and Bob and the Archbishop himself and say, what do you think about this for an idea? And they say, I'm in, let's do it, let's bring young people on you've got to know something's right about the idea. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, you are here in preparation for uh, the South African leg of the summit. Tell us why you chose South Africa and you know what we can look forward to. Um, from a, 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 a summit point of view, the Johannesburg bid was extremely competitive, was excellent. Um, we don't ask the competing cities for, for money but we ask them to get their mayor involved, we ask them to have their, um, their brand ambassadors involved, Brand South Africa, we ask them to um, show that they, uh, they, they are proud by hosting the opening ceremony at an iconic venue, and so on and so forth, and Johannesburg bid was extremely strong. But for me personally, there absolutely was a personal agenda. I was born in this city. I lived the first few years of my life, 30 years of my life in the city. So for me, um, it's a big, it's a big deal for me. It's you know, I'm bringing this, this completely amazing bunch of young people. I'm bringing it home. So I'm mm -hmm. very proud today. T tell us what you you told the mayor of Johannesburg. You obviously had to bring him up to speed, you know, with all the events. And how confident are you that the city is ready to actually, you know, host the summit? Um, uh, Councillor Parks Tower, His Worship. I, I mean, what can you say? This is a stunning mayor who absolutely gets it, who fascinatingly himself was 24 when he first became a councillor. And these people, you know, it's like Bob and Jamie, who started very young, they absolutely get it. And that for me was, you don't have to do more than 60 seconds explaining to somebody like that, they know exactly what you're talking about. Kate Robertson, thank you so much for your time and best of luck with your conference.